Hello everyone. Welcome back to Matrix Lecture Series. In the last lecture, we discussed the various properties of matrix multiplication. We also saw various examples. Today, we are going to discuss the exercise number 3.2. So let's begin. In the very first question, what we are asked? We are actually given the A matrix and the B matrix. Now, we have to find A plus B, A minus B, this A3, A minus C, A, B and B, A. Now, you can very easily find all these things as I have explained you with the help of various examples. But let me uh, show you some parts of it. Okay. Let's make some space here and do it. So, we have to find A plus B. Now, what, how will I find A plus B? I will add the respective entries. This 2 is added with this 1, so I get 3. When I add this 4 with this 3, I get 7. Right? When I add this 3 with minus 2, what will I get? I will get 1. When I add this 2 with 5, what I will get? I will get 7. So, this is my A plus B. Okay? Similarly, we can find A minus B. How I will find A minus B? It is simply this minus this. That is 2 minus 1, which is 1. Now, 4 minus 3, which is again 1. 3 minus minus 2, that is 3 plus 2, that is 5. Okay? Now, 2 minus 5, which is minus 3. So, this is our answer. This is our answer. Okay? Similarly, you can also find 3A minus C. First, multiply A matrix with 3. What we are actually doing here? We are actually multiplying the A with a scalar 3. How I explained you the multiplication of a matrix with a scalar? I told you that in such a scenario, we multiply the scalar with each and every term. So, what is 3A? Let us find first first 3a so 3a is 3 to 6 okay 3 4 12 then 3 3 9 3 2 6 this is 3a minus c i have to subtract c so when i will subtract c what i will get let me write it here so when i multiply this 6 with minus 2 what i get 6 and 2 8 right 12 minus 5 i will get 7 9 minus 3, I will get 6. 6 minus 4, I get 2. So, this is my answer. 6, 8, 7, 6, 2. This is my matrix. Which matrix? This matrix. 3A minus C. I, right? I hope it is clear to you. Now, I have to find AB. First, let me check whether this multiplication is possible or not. Both A and B are order of 2, are order of 2 and 2. So, this multiplication is possible. Let me multiply it. What I get when I multiply AB? I get, I will multiply this row with this column. Okay. So, 2 is multiplied with 1. I get 2. Then add. 4 is multiplied with minus 2, which is minus 8. Okay. So, I am directly writing here. What I get? I get minus 6. Right. Then I will multiply this row with this column. What I get? I will multiply this 2 with this 3. Then add the, add with 4 into 5. Okay. As I have explained you in the example also. Correct. So when I multiply, I get 26. You can check yourself. When I multiply this 3, now I multiply this row with this column. Okay. So accordingly, 3 is multiplied with th 1. So 3 plus 2 is multiplied with minus 2. So, minus 4. Okay. So, what I get? I get minus 1. Right. Let me write minus 1. Again, this row is multiplied with this column. So, what I will get? I get 3 multiplied by 3. That is 9 plus 2 multiplied by 5. That is 10. 10 and 9, which is 19. So, this is my AB. This is my AB matrix.
right similarly you can find b a matrix also this question is done now moving ahead to this question number 2 what we have to do we have to compute the following so basically in this in this part a we have given them uh, operation of addition so we will add them in this part actually in all these parts we are given the addition so we have to simply add them nothing much let me uh, do some parts of it let me uh, tell you fourth part and uh, say b part okay b part and fourth part let me tell you both these two parts okay let me create some space here okay So I am first telling you B part. Basically, how we define the addition, how we actually make matrix addition, we will add the corresponding entries. This is added with this. Okay. So what I will get here, I get, I will get a square plus b square plus to a b ok now can i write it in another way this is nothing but the a plus b whole square oh, oh, oh. ok if i erase it then that will appear so uh, ok i am explaining you here only so when i add both of these two things i get a square plus b square plus 2 a b right this is a plus b whole square Similarly, when I add this with this, I get b plus c whole square, right? When I add this with this, I get a minus c whole square. Why? Because this is the formula of, this is the formula of which formula? a square plus c square minus 2ac this is the formula of a minus c whole square right similarly when i add this with this i get a minus b whole square correct so what is the resultant answer what is the resultant answer the resultant answer uh, okay i am right let me create let me add a new page so that you won't get confused okay hmm. so okay now you won't get confused i am discussing question number two part b so what is given to me one matrix is this let me write the complete matrix A square plus c square a square plus b square i have to add this matrix with another matrix which is the another matrix it is 2 a b 2 b c minus 2 a c minus 2 a b okay i have to add these now when i add this term with this term what i will get i will get a square plus b square plus 2 a b ok when i add when i add this term with this term what i will get i will get b square plus c square plus 2 b c right when i add this term with this term what i get i get a square plus c square minus 2 a c similarly when i add this term with this term what i get i get a square plus b square minus 2 a b okay now this is the formula of what this is the formula this this is the formula of a plus b whole square this is the formula of b plus c whole square this is the formula of 
a minus c whole square similarly this is the formula of a minus b whole square this is the answer there is nothing in this question just a simple recap of the previous property or previous identity which we have learned that a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab and a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab that's it nothing else okay let us discuss fourth part of this question also i hope it is clear to you okay now let's discuss fourth part in the fourth part what i have given i have given two, again two matrices the first one is cos square x sin square x sin square x and cos square x this matrix is added with another matrix what is the another matrix sin square x cos square x cos square x and sin square x sin square x so we have to add these again the addition is simple just add the corresponding entry cos square x plus sin square x if i add cos square x plus sin square x i get this and what is this you can you can recall that this is the identity which becomes equals to 1 right similarly here sin square x x is added with cos square x i again get 1 here sin square x cos square x again i will get 1 using which identity using the identity of sin square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 this is the identity which i am using since there is a operation of addition so it doesn't matter whether i am adding cos square x first or whether i am adding sin square first Bo in both the cases i get the addition as equals to 1 this is the identity that we have already know similarly the fourth entry cos square x plus sin square x this is also one so this is the answer 1 1 1 1 is our answer i hope this question is also clear to you just a simple use of this identity okay moving ahead to next question question number 3 okay what does it is saying it is saying that we have to compute the indicated products the product uh, the product which is indicated we have to compute that now again i am repeating as i have explained you in my uh, video where i tell you that how the matrix multiplication is done again i am telling you the same thing here also that whenever we are going to multiply matrices first we will check that whether the matrix multiplication is possible or not how we will check we will write the order first and then check after checking that multiplication is possible then we will multiply it in what way i the way in which i have explained you the row of first the column of second the row of first the second column of second second row of first first column of second second row of first second column of second i will explain you here also with the with this exercise question so you need not to worry uh, let me discuss uh, first two parts okay let me discuss first two part the remaining parts is your homework similarly here you have to try th both these part in case you have any query you can write it in the comment section i will be very happy to address your doubts okay but try at least and try after watching my video in which i have explained you the example questions after understanding example these question will be very much easy for you okay so let's discuss this uh, question 3 part a and part b okay so part a in part a we have to multiply which two matrices we have to multiply these matrices now since it is of order 2 by 2 it is of order 2 by 2 so here the number of column is equals to the number of rows therefore the matrix multiplication is possible and how i will multiply multiply this row with this column 
I get what I will get hmm. when I multiply this row with this column what I get I will get a square and a square okay yes so I will get a square plus b square right now multiply this row with this column I get what I will get I get minus a b plus a b minus a b plus a b which is 0 right multiply this row this column what I will get minus a b plus a b again which is 0 now multiply this row with this column ok so what I will get I will get a square plus b square how I am multiplying if you do not know let me tell you uh, for this entry this fourth entry ok so this what I have to do I have to multiply this row with this column so minus b is multiplied with this minus b when I multiply what I get I get b square then put addition sign this a will be multiplied with this a what I get a square this is how I get here ok this is how the multiplication is done so what is the answer of this question this is the answer this is the answer of this question hope it is clear to you now let us discuss uh, another part part second all the parts are similar 1 2 3 2 3 4 now let us again check whether the multiplication is possible or not this is the very first duty so what is the order of this matrix the order of this matrix is 3 by 1 this matrix has an order 1 by 3 since the number of columns is equal to the number of rows here so matrix multiplication is very much possible now since it is possible so we will multiply how we will multiply I have already explained you this row this column when I multiply with this one with this two what I get I get two here right this one is multiplied with this three I get 3 1 multiplied with 4 I get 4 ok this 2 now will be multiplied with this 2 I get what I get I get 2 to 4 then 2 3 the 6 2 4 the 8 3 2 the 6 3 3 9 3 4 the 12 this is the answer you can multiply this is the answer simply I have multiplied this with this then this with this this with this then I have moving ahead to this row and multiply this entry with this, this with this, this with this and as a result I get this matrix ok. This is the matrix which I will get here right. One more thing that you can in advance predict that what will be the order of your resultant matrix how you can find it is again very simple I have explained you in my previous videos also let us see here uh, let me write it again 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 ok so here the order of this matrix is what it is 3 by 1 uh, this matrix has the order of 1 by 3 since number of columns is equals to number of rows therefore matrix multiplication is possible when it is pos uh, since it is possible then we can multiply and the resultant matrix will be of order 3 by 3 these remaining these remaining will become the order of our new multiplied matrix ok uh, you uh, you have seen that we get the matrix of order 3 by 3 right what we get the uh, what we get our answer the our answer for this part is 2 3 4 4 6 8 6 9 12 this is of a matrix of order 3 by 3 right we can in advance predict that what will be the order and that will be the order actually in the exam you may have asked that what will be the resultant what will be the order of the resultant matrix the matrix which is obtained by multiplying both of these matrices then you can very easily tell this right so 
we have done this uh, question number 3 also the remaining parts are very much similar the remaining parts are similar you can try it by yourself so yes that's it for today uh, we have discussed uh, question number 3 another question we will discuss in the next video till then keep studying in case you have any doubt in the remaining parts you can write it in the comment section you can also connect with us via various social media handles thank you